welcome to MyViolinRecital.com. My name is Diane Allen and I'm the website's creator. Today I'm going to talk about helping some, some uh, images that help students to know where their bow is in space. Sometimes that can be really confusing. Uh, thinking three-dimensionally, how does the bow fit into space? So what we're going to do is use the idea of we are in a square room. And on the E string, if I turn straight on here, um, what we could say is, is that it, the bow is almost darn near straight up and down, right? There's just a little bit of an angle here. So for, for generalization purposes, we're going to call the E string floor and ceiling, okay? So the bow is going straight down to the floor or straight up to the ceiling. On the A string, if you take the corner of where the wall meets the ceiling on the up bow and the corner of where the floor meets the wall on the down bow, that's your A string angle. So you go, you're going from corner to corner, corner to corner. Okay? When you're on the D string, once again, um, we're at a slight angle. We're not going corner to corner. But we're almost going directly. This is this, this would be exactly wall to wall. So we have a slight angle, uh, like a diagonal wall to wall. Okay, so I call that one wall to wall. And then on the G string, that one is a true straight across wall to wall. Okay, so on the E string we have floor ceiling. A string is corner to corner, and then we have a diagonal wall to wall, and then a straight across wall to wall. A lot of times using these images when you're trying to figure out a tricky string passage and you have to figure out where the bow is going, if you just stop and think, okay, uh, the, one of the famous ones is from the Bach Partita, uh, number three. <laughs> to think corner, ceiling, corner, wall, corner, ceiling, corner, wall. It really helps to map out what your bow is doing in space. And then you can speed that, that up to the speed that we need to play that particular piece. So, um, Anyways, uh, just a fun image for you using a three-dimensional space that you're in. You could you know, stand, situate yourself in a, in a room in a way so you could really aim for the corners, the walls, floor and ceiling. So once again, thank you for visiting myviolinrecital.com and as always, happy practicing.